What's up guys and welcome back. Today we are talking about hotspots. Yes, I know, hotspots, the most basic thing on DoorDash. But have you asked yourself, what are they? Did you know there's two different kinds of hotspots? Are hotspots important? And how should I approach hotspots? Look, I guess the output I want from this video is I want you guys to understand what a hotspot is. And secondly, I don't want you driving like mindless lemmings towards where X marks the spot on the map. Derp, derp, derp. I drive here because hotspots mean I get out order. I want you guys to learn to be smart about this. So let's jump into hotspots. Okay, guys, we're gonna become experts in hotspots. First things first, what is a hotspot? A hotspot is an area within your dashing starting point that indicates the busiest areas for orders. You'll generally see hotspots with areas where there's a lot of restaurants clustered together. Now there are two kinds of hotspots. The first kind of hotspot is a dynamic hotspot. Dynamic hotspots are created when a certain restaurant or area currently has a lot of orders. Dynamic hotspots will have a red area around it, highlighting the full area of the busy restaurants and will say busy hotspot zone at the bottom of your screen. You do not have to be within the red area to receive an order, but the closer you get, the more likely you are to receive one. The second kind of hotspot is a historical hotspot. Historical hotspots are shown as the flame icon without the red area around them, and say previously busy hotspot zone at the bottom of the screen. You will see historical hotspots when it isn't busy enough to create a dynamic hotspot. These hotspots are based on recent data and guide you to restaurants that are usually busy at that time. Both these hotspot types you can select to navigate to and your maps will plot in a course for you to drive there. Okay, cool. Now that we understand our two different kinds of hotspots, let's run through some commonly asked questions. Why is one of the hotspots bigger and black and the others are small and white? Well, the big black one is the hotspot that you have highlighted. If there are multiple hotspots, you can change between them by swiping left or right over the hotspots tab at the bottom of the screen, which will allow you to navigate to them. Selecting different hotspots does not change where your orders are coming from though. So should I just drive to hotspots? Well, let's look at some scenarios. There are two factors for us to consider when we look at DoorDash's deep red algorithm. Factor one is the driver's position in the available driver queue. Factor two is the driver distance from restaurant. Distance from the restaurant to the customer's address is going to be the same for every driver, so that isn't factored. That is only factored for an add to route order. So we will ignore that at this point because we are just looking for the initial first order. So let's look at two scenarios. Scenario A, two drivers that have been waiting the same time for an order one parked at a hotspot and one a distance from the hotspot. So let's propose that an order comes in from the hotspot. The first driver to get the offer will be driver A. Driver A is parked closest to the restaurants and they are in the hotspot zone. This is the most logical choice for the algorithm to give the order across to. Now if driver A declines the order, driver B is the next closest driver and will be offered the same order. It's based on the premise that both drivers are at equal position in the available driver queue. Normally it will be one above the other. Two exactly the same is not a scenario that's going to exist. But if it did exist, it's based purely off the distance for the algorithm. So let's look at another scenario. Scenario B. So scenario B, you are the only available driver in the queue. Everyone else is busy on other jobs and you are not in the hotspot. In this scenario, because you are the only available driver to receive an order, you'll get offered the order regardless if you're in the hotspot or not. The order needs to be offered to someone. So in this case, you don't need to be in the hotspot to receive an order. So now that you understand hotspots and you're an expert just like me, I guess the question is, so what should I do? So let's deep dive and run through some game theory situations to figure out what is the best thing for you to do to give yourself the edge out there in the field. So let's run through some game theory scenarios just to explain the situations a little bit better to you guys. So game theory is where we create a situation and we're gonna use logic to understand the best outcome for ourselves to get orders. So for our scenario setups, the drivers remain in the same positions. Driver A is in a hotspot. Driver B is parked outside of the hotspot between other restaurants and driver C is parked outside of the hotspot on the other side with no restaurants close by. For the sake of this game theory, what we will assume is all drivers are equal in position for next available driver. We do not know the exact weightings on the algorithm for available driver position, and we do not know the exact weighting for distance from restaurant. Just as you are in the real world, you will not know this information. You will not know where you are in queue or if other drivers are closer or not. So we need to use game theory to put ourselves in the best position without knowing this information. Scenario one, an order comes in from a restaurant inside the hotspot. Driver A is closest and will get the offer first. If they accept it, the order is off the table. 
but Driver B is positioned to receive future orders from the hotspot and the restaurants behind them. Driver C is only up for the next hotspot order because Driver B will get the other offers because they are closer. Now something to factor in, Driver A's offer will be lower than Driver B and C's. Since Driver A is parked at the restaurant, the offer is going to just calculate the distance from the restaurant to the customer's address. Whereas Driver B and C will be offered pay to reflect distance to get to the restaurant plus the distance to the customer's address. This means drivers B and C will be paid to drive to the hotspot, whereas drivers A drove there for free. Now, assuming that all drivers are equal in the available driver queue, if driver A declines the restaurant, drivers B and C have a 50-50 chance of receiving that order. If driver C won the coin toss, they get the order, but driver B is still positioned to receive the next order from the hotspot and all the restaurants behind them. In this scenario, you want to be driver B. You're in the widest radius to receive orders from the hotspot and the other restaurants. Plus you get extra pay for miles to drive to the hotspot or to the other restaurants behind. Scenario two, the order comes in from a restaurant outside of the hotspot. In this situation, driver B is the closest. If driver B declines, the offer will move to driver A as they are the next closest. And finally, driver C if both A and B decline. Being driver C in both these scenarios puts you at the worst odds. But being driver B in both scenarios is where you're most likely to get an order. To add a further psychology aspect into the mix, drivers parked at the hotspot are more likely to decline an offer because they are only going to be paid from the restaurant to the customer whereas drivers further away will get a better offer making it more appealing by parking outside you can swoop in on these orders that have been declined and get paid slightly more for your commute from wherever you parked up to the restaurant then to the customer's place so you're being paid for more time on the road you also increase your earnings per hour if you are in a hotspot receive the order in the hotspot and the restaurant has only just got it you may find yourself waiting in a lobby for it to be prepared if you have a distance to drive to get to the restaurant in the hotspot not only are you being paid for your drive there but you're also eliminating part of that potential wait time as they are cooking while you were driving so what to do position yourself near a hotspot but between other restaurants that take orders if there are two hotspots close by put yourself between the two of them or even better between two of them but triangulated to have other restaurants also nearby find a good parking spot in your zone that best positions yourself for this make a list of your go-to spots so you know where to drive even if there are no hotspots on the map at the time so hopefully that all makes sense. Hotspots are just a guide to show you where orders happen, but does not guarantee you an order. If you're far away from a hotspot and there's a lot of drivers in between you and the hotspot, they're gonna get the orders offered first. If you're really far away from a hotspot and there's no available drivers in between yourself and the hotspot, you're gonna get the order regardless of distance. These tips helps you in any way. Make sure you smash the like and subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. Also, if you're interested in becoming a delivery driver, I've got my links down below in the description to sign up now. Until next time, guys, make sure you stay safe on the roads, keep hustling, keep grinding, and peace out! This is my time. This is my time.